The buoy's slack, it's 9.21 a.m. We lost that giant fish yesterday about 6 p.m. It was pretty depressing. We'll uh, tell you more about that. Lifetime fish, fish a long time to hook and we got away, but uh, it was a quiet ride home, no one said a word, but part of the game. Anyhow, we got one on here, hope he stays. Let's move that right up here. Rocking and rolling, rough ride out. South wind, 15 to 20 knots. The buoy's light, it's laid over on the side out there. 1655 right there. James is loading up, could be her. Another one. We need one fish to make our day, make the ride out here worth it. He is slapped. That's a good sign, could be a nice sized fish if he's swimming up oh, that way. Probably not a little baby one if he's coming up in that way. Slack, start reeling, keep reeling. Dude, we are slack slack. This fish could come up jumping out here, you guys. It'll be another nice one. You never know. We got that nice one yesterday, just shy of 300, and uh, mid March here, so it could be a month of the big girls. You never know. That was on that fresh belly from yesterday, too. It was so hard. Big ones do, they come up and I go back down. He's heading back the other direction now. He's taking us out deep though, just took us out to 1742 right there. Dude, what is going on? What do I do, Nick? I don't know. He's wrapped up or something. I, I don't want to put any pressure. Nah. Turn back on now. Yeah, it's really. There. I got like barely any drag. That was not right. Yeah. It's wrapped or something. Jump, jump, jump right there. Not big. Oh, man. He's big. I don't know how big I just saw the splash. You're gonna get a shot with the dart. You're gonna get a shot with the dart. I got the dart. Keep reeling on it. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Don't stop it. Keep milking it. Fish came all the way up. Took us out to 2100. We're back in 1800 now. Just had him about 75 feet away. Didn't see him, but it's going back down, unfortunately. Big fish, though. Slowly getting tired, but so are we mentally. There he is down there, 900 feet. 900 feet. You see? Fish is down 900 feet, still going. It's probably about 1,000 now. It's a giant. Fish a lot of days, get a shot like this, and we got our shot. Win or lose, we had our shot. Yeah, so hopefully can gain a little more. So we went up on the drag. We gotta be careful we don't break the line, though. We're at three hours, we gotta pull on this thing eventually, so. If it's meant to be, it'll happen. If it ain't, it won't. Took us back in shallow now, 1364. A lot of bait in here, though. Had us out 2100 at one point. Five hours and 20 minutes, still no control of the fish. He is fighting. Oh my god, dude. Look at those head, head shakes. Holy moly. Look at those oh head god. shakes. Oh my god. Holy smokes. He should cool down. Oh. Giant head shakes. Oh my god. Oh my stop god. Stop it, stop it, please. This suspense is killing me. <laughs> he is swimming up fast. We've gone 
seven miles already into a thousand feet. Oh Things racing God. up again. Oh Alright, no. uh, here's the update. We are at six hours. Very big fish. Giant. Stand down about 400 feet, 375. The sun's going down. We got 550. The sun sets at 730. So we got an hour and 40 minutes until the sun sets. Hopefully this fish stays on the hook and gives a shot before dark. Because in the dark it'd be tough to catch. You wouldn't be able to see the line, the fish swimming around the boat. So fingers crossed. We're saying some prayers. Hoping he stays on. The line broke five feet from the wind on leader. Seven hours. Didn't didn't get a good look at her. Saw her once, she jumped once. Be a tough one to swallow, a tough ride home. Here we go. I would say let's move it up here. Get a bite, buddy. Fish on right now. Hope he stays on, alright? See what happens. Swordfish foul hooked on the side there, kind of drowned, so we're gonna eat them. We're going back out there, see if we get another one. We're hooked up again. We caught that first fish. He was foul hooked on the side, kind of drowned and died, so we kept him. See if we can't get one more, it'd be nice. Bring up the back rod right here, kind of choppy again. Rough right out, but not too bad once you get here. Just gotta run into it for 25 miles. Lots of bait today.
I know, man. He's, he's trying to kill me. I'm aware. Get in the shot real quick. The fish made some incredible jumps. Hopefully, Mark got him. Incredible. I think Good job, Karen. Great coaching. Very exciting fish there. So after yesterday's heartbreak, you know, we were down in the gutter there. Could hardly sleep. Woke up at 2:30. James, he didn't sleep much either. Part of sword fishing, sometimes they get away, but today we got two swords and we kept the first one. The first one's a lot smaller than this one, but it was foul hooked and drowned when it came up. That's where we kept them. This one here is over 100 pounds, probably 110 pounds, and uh, healthy, so we're gonna tag him, let him go. Jeremy's got plenty to eat and his family and friends, so. We're reviving him now, getting some water moving over his gills and uh, some oxygen through him. We're gonna let him go here in a second. Future grander. Hey, he's kicking. All right, swordfish tag and release. They're nice, healthy fish, chunky and round. Good to see. We don't keep them all. We let plenty of them go. So if y'all were wondering what type of hook that was, that was a Bonita Strip 10 0 VMC 8700 SS. We got you next. Yeah. Don't get got. Get got. Yeah, just lean against you. Get that fish. We're sword fishing. We got a mahi on. Could this be her first mahi if she gets first it? First open. Yeah. Oh, yeah, jumper. We got a jumper. He's holding right there. It's all falling. Here it is. Mahi, mahi. Short. Right there. I know. Coming up, right? Yeah. I know. All right, maybe we got one on there. Who knows? Juvenile swordfish, we tagged him, now we're gonna let him go. Feisty little fish on the boat there. Fighting me, yeah. Come on, buddy. Good job. Alright. That was awesome. We got the hat trick. We got three swords today, we're gonna call it a day or soon and head on back home. Oh, look at that scar on him. Oh, isn't that wicked? Alrighty, water damage is in. Captain Travis and those guys, they got a nice sword. 
We got three, we kept one to eat, let go of the nicest one with a tag, and let go of another small one in the afternoon. See what theirs goes and uh, see what happens. Gotta keep that stand straight clean. Just gave me this. Here we go. Look at Muscle Man Foster over there pulling them up. <laughs> go get him, Muscles. Don't let him go to the top of the building. 170 pounder for those guys there. If I can't take you out fishing, want to go, give Travis a shot in the water damage. We're cutting up fishing on Murata. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. Mike, want to say anybody? Yeah, man, just, yeah. Mike, big up? Yeah, man, I want to big up all of the people and we make all of the great comments, them, you know? Because normally I don't answer about the comments, them, and stuff. But, too, you know, I'm so busy and stuff, you know? So, we just want to big up everybody for all of the great comments. And everything I'm going to say about the comments is true. Everything I'm going to say on the comments is so true and the money. But, respect to everyone, big up all our fans, and thank you for all the love and support. Much love, respect from Jamaica, Mike. The roughest, toughest Jamaica, you don't know. Big up. See? There you go. Yeah. All right, you guys, Mike checking in. We survived that heartbreak and depression yesterday, losing that giant. Hope you guys enjoyed some of those clips that we spliced in here. Seven hours, fished a lifetime to hook him. We got away, but uh, we still got more life left in us. So we'll be back out there fishing for the big dog. So, all right, we want to see what this fish was eating before we call it a day. I can feel something in here. Here we go. Yeah. A moment of truth. What the heck is that? Like a, a, a triple tail? <laughs> Look at this fish. What is that, Travis? That triple tail? At first I was thinking snapper, but the head ain't. Nah, I think it's a triple tail. Yeah, because it's within his head straight up there, it looks like it. Yeah, baby triple tail. Yeah. Just when like that. A triple tail. That's the first, you guys. There's a triple tail digested in here. Does anyone want to eat a triple tail? James, you had a triple tail on him. Triple tail eats pretty well, doesn't it? Watch yeah. Watch FWC, might have a problem with that. That's true. FWC, I didn't keep this thing. It was in the swordfish. Hey, James, you want to eat this triple tail? It's easy to digest. It's a triple tail. Yeah, Bean, it's your favorite triple tail. Ceviche? All right, that's the first, you guys. You never know what you're going to catch. We'll see you all later. Oh. Wow.